Prime Minister Narendra Modi today set an ambitious tone at the inauguration of Semicon India 2025 in capital New Delhi. The Prime Minister declared that the day is not far when the smallest chip made in India will drive the biggest change in the world. He acknowledged that India may have started late in the semiconductor race but stressed that nothing can stop the country now. The event drew participation from 40 to 50 countries, which the Prime Minister said reflects global trust in India's innovation and youth power. Here's what India's semiconductor ambitions are all about. India is accelerating its push into semiconductors, a sector that powers everything from smartphones to satellites. The country today stands as one of the world's largest consumers of semiconductors and already plays a critical role in global design. Nearly 20% or one-fifth of the world's semiconductor design engineers are based in India. Every year, more than 2,000 chips are designed here with Bengaluru, Hyderabad, Noida and Pune emerging as leading design hubs. To strengthen this ecosystem, the Government of India is offering a 50% financial subsidy on capital expenditure for semiconductor projects. This is part of its larger vision to boost electronics manufacturing to $300 billion by the end of financial year 2025-26. Industry experts say that this combination of design, talent and state support could position India as a formidable player in the global chip race. But the competition is stiff. The global semiconductor industry is currently dominated by a handful of countries. By the year 2027, Taiwan is expected to hold a commanding 60% market share thanks to companies like TSMC. The United States follows with 17%, South Korea at 13%, Japan with 4%, and China with around 6%. These numbers show how concentrated chip manufacturing is and highlights the scale of India's challenge in breaking in to this elite club. Building semiconductor fabrication plants or FABs is one of the most complex and capital-intensive undertakings in modern industry. A single state-of-the-art facility can cost anywhere between 10 and 20 billion dollars. While India announced significant funding support back in the year 2022, it was still less than what is required for even one such fabrication unit. Beyond cost, Infrastructure remains a big hurdle. Chip making demands uninterrupted electricity supply. Sophisticated supply chains located close to those plants and millions of gallons of ultra pure water every single day. India also has limited hands-on experience in large scale chip manufacturing. Experts warn that addressing these bottlenecks will be critical if India wants to match the precision, scale and reliability of global leaders in the industry. So, what exactly are these chips that nations are competing over? At its core, a semiconductor chip is a tiny electronic device built on materials like silicon. These chips contain microscopic transistors, millions or even billions of them, which switch on and off to process information. Simply put, they are the building blocks of every electronic product we use, from household appliances and cars to advanced medical devices, supercomputers and defense systems. The journey of a chip is as fascinating as it is complex. It begins with design, where engineers blueprint its function down to the atomic level. That design is then sent to a fabrication plant or fab, 
where layers of materials are etched onto wafers under ultra clean, highly controlled conditions. Once fabricated, the chips undergo rigorous testing. They are rated for performance and finally packaged before being integrated into electronic devices. Every stage demands world-class precision and infrastructure as well. The global semiconductor market itself is booming. Analysts project that it will cross the $1 trillion mark by the year 2030. India aims not only to be a consumer of this technology, but also a contributor to global supply chains. The country can play a significant role by manufacturing equipment, offering design and testing services, and allocating rare earth materials needed for production. Industry watchers say that this multi-pronged approach could help India secure a bigger slice of that trillion dollar market. Back home, the Indian semiconductor market is expanding at a rapid pace from about $38 billion in 2024. It is expected to touch anywhere between $45 and $50 billion in this year, 2025. By the year 2030, five years from now, estimates suggest that it could reach as high as $100 to $110 billion. For India, these are not just about numbers. It's about technology leadership, supply chain security, and becoming future ready in a world that runs on chips. As the global chip war intensifies, India's semiconductor ambitions represent both a challenge and an opportunity. With talent, policy support, and market demand on its side, India now faces the test of execution to move from design strength to full-scale manufacturing and claim its place in the global semiconductor value chain. <laughs>